Hey everyone, welcome back to another video in which we're gonna learn about use effect hook in React 16.8. If you have not watched my previous video showing you state how it works with React 16.8, just go ahead and watch it. Link is in the description and once you're done with it, you're good to go. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell icon, it really helps. Let's get into it. All right, so to make use of use effect hook, we have to bring it from react package and use it just by saying use effect. Now, if you have used component did mount, component did update methods like that, you could think of use effect as the combination of did mount, did update and will mount. So whatever code you write here inside this particular function, whatever code goes here would be executed every time component updates or component is mounted or component is, you know, unmounted as well. So you could do that as well. Now, why essentially is use effect used? Well, you see that if you want to have some sort of side effects, which is like setting up some subscriptions or maybe performing some async request or, you know, set timeouts, stuff like that. If you do it right here inside your function, it would create nasty bugs, which you won't be able to fix unless you move them somewhere else. Use effect runs your code every time there's a re-render, just like we talked about, component did update, stuff like that. So use effect would actually run this code every time your component updates or component is mounted and some way we can execute a particular piece of code if your component unmounts. All right, so here's a very simple example of use effect. So we are updating our document title every time the component updates, component is mounted, right? So if you take a look in the browser, you could see if I refresh this page, it starts from React tab, but quickly is turned into counter is zero once the component is mounted. So I could increment the counter and give a close look here. It updates as well, just with the counter. Now let us create another counter called counter two with its setter as setter counter, set counter two, and it has a default value of hundred. Now you see that in this component, we are not using counter two inside our use effect function. However, we, if we take a look at here, when I click on this button, what happens is if our counter two is an even number, is an odd number, then we update our counter one, right? If and only if it is an odd number, then we update our counter one or we just decrease our counter two to one every time. So what the hell did I just say? So if we take a look here, you see this is our counter one, this is counter two. Counter two is even, I'm gonna increment this because it was even, this one does not increment. Now it is odd, I increment, it now increments. Now it is even, increment, it does not increment. Now it is odd, increment, it increments. So you see what I'm talking about. However, if you take a look at the effect call, you see that this effect call is actually called on every click, right? So it does not matter if counter one is updated or not. This effect call is called on every particular click. So half of the times this function when it is called does nothing because the counter variable does not change half of the times. So how do we eliminate that? Well, you can use conditional rendering with the use effect by passing a second parameter as an array of values, which when updated, you want to use use effect. Now be careful here. You have to pass the values which when updated should fire this particular function, right? So if you pass an empty array, that particularly means that you are not interested in any value being monitored. That means this use effect won't be fired at all apart from being, you know, at the first mount and before unmounting, right? Before unmounting as in when you return a particular function which does some cleanup. So if we return a function, this would be called when the function, when the component unmounts, right? So this function would be called and initially mounting would be called whenever you pass an empty array. So you see if I increment this, there's nothing happening over here, right? All right. So what we want to do actually is we want to monitor only our counter variable, right? So whenever counter updates, only then I want to fire this particular function. Otherwise not, because that wastes our function calls. So if we reload this, incremented, you see our counter was not updated. Effect call, this is from the first time, right? Incremented again, 
you see our counter is updated effect call is updated to twice increment it again because this was not updated it is not updated it is not updated right increment it again effect call is four counter one is four effect call is called right so this is how you would do a conditional calling for use effect right here and this is pretty useful if you have a functional component having a lot of state variables and a lot of use effects as well you don't want to fire them all every time on every render right so yeah that was a basic video on using use effect hook in react under five minutes if you liked it don't forget to subscribe press the bell icon thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one